It's game on for the Temple Mount. But what happens when a childhood game becomes the driving force of history for men and for nations? From ages past to the present, men like boys before them have sought to become king of the mountain or lord of the hill. And it's in this simple metaphor that the ultimate meaning and direction of history and prophecy is made manifest revealing the mystery of the world's rapidly approaching and greatest battle for king of the mountain. It's literally the hinge of history. All other issues and pursuits that consume the passions and purposes of mankind ultimately turn on the eternal question, who will be king of the mountain? This is the ultimate question of history, which the power brokers and peoples of this planet must answer both for time and eternity. History's final battle for the king of the mountain will be a no-holds-barred, winner-take-all global conflagration. It is and has always been and will be the eternal, epic, end-time battle for Temple Mount and for the souls of men. So who then will be the king of the mountain? Join me on this amazing journey from the Tower of Babel to the Temple Mount and from creation to the coming of Messiah. If you'd like to gain further understanding into this eternal, epic, and end-time battle, you might well consider getting a copy of my latest book, King of the Mountain. It's just $20. Go now to our website, saveus.org. That's saveus.org. Or you can call us at 1-800-SAVE-USA. That's 1-800-SAVE-USA. These are desperate times. Destiny for Israel and the world is teetering in the balance. If you're weak-kneed, don't get this book. King of the Mountain will shake you, but you will be fully informed of the unfolding of history's greatest battle, the battle for King of the Mountain.